All right, hi guys. Um, as uh, we went through the previous video, I show you how to create a profile either by going through uh, codesource.com uh, homepage or by going through directly to codesource.com slash sign up. By now, all of you should be able to have a, a profile. And the next step would be to access it, uh, understand it, and fill it up with uh, as much information as possible because that would be uh, the way to uh, increase your chances of being uh, uh, selected for the program. But let's get to it. Um, to log into your profile, uh, the best way to do it is to uh, type in to your browser www.codestress.com slash students as uh, plural slash login and you will be shown this page. Now if you go here where it says login and you put the same credential as you uh, selected before uh, you will be able to log into your profile. If you select Remember Me, next time you come back to the same page, he'll, um, the browser will remember your email and your password. So your email, your password, and login. Uh, welcome to your profile. The first thing you see is uh, uh, a message that tells you, in general, how to increase your trust score. Uh, if you read through it, or actually, for those of you who don't know or don't remember what a trust score is, um, it is basically a, a unified unit of measure that a client can uh, use to assess your performance as a freelancer online. So if you uh, work on uh, uh, one specific platform, like Upwork, for example, all your uh, uh, work experience and uh, work history will be uh, collected into that platform. But uh, if you want to work into another platform, then you will have to start from scratch. And because your work experience and work history is not uh, uh, brought over from one profile to the other. What the trust score is, and in general what your Codest Trust profile does, is to unify all this information into one profile that you can show to the clients. And uh, this will dramatically increase the chances of being hired and getting a project. So back to the message here maximize your trust score uh, what you need to do is to uh, fill in the information your personal information gender contact info education and so on uh, upload a cool profile photo uh, this is important please update um, um, upload a profile picture because it's uh, very important for us to uh, screen between uh, those students that are interested in the program and those who are don't if you just create a profile and uh, you don't put a picture what does it say about your motivation to participate in the program? So please upload a picture. It doesn't have to be a super cool picture for now. Um, and uh, I can anticipate to you that during the course, we will uh, take professional pictures of you and uh, <coughs> use them to uh, increase the likelihood of uh, uh, getting more clients. But uh, let's not get ahead and focus on what we need to do now. Uh, the next point would be to uh, sync your accounts and I will show you how and here already uh, is asking you to sync your Upwork but I assume you don't have an Upwork account yet so what you should do now is just close the window and get into your profile now um, here is the overview and what you need to do is to go into all these different sections and uh, fill in the information that are uh, missing. So first thing you go into personal info and you click the edit and then you say uh, okay my name uh, if you have a middle name then you add that otherwise you can leave it blank um, I leave it I'm saying blank last name you put your last name And then um, gender, you can select male, female, or other in case you don't want to specify. But the reason why uh, we ask this is because uh, we want to keep a, a, a fair ratio between uh, guys and girls, like 50% approximately. Um, so if you specify, and that's especially good for girls, uh, you can increase your chances of, uh, of, being, uh, uh, of being selected. So let's select male in this case, and marital status. Well, let's put it single, or you can choose if you're married, no kids, or married with kids. Let's put single for now. Um, then you move over to the contact info uh, panel. 
This is very important again because through this information we are able to contact with you and send you all the communication related to the program and to uh, your working opportunities further on. So you have to uh, put a contact email that might be the same that you use to uh, sign up or another one. What is important is that it's an email that you read frequently. So I'm going to put email at emailme.com, for example. Put the email that you like the most. Mobile should have been there from before. Then put your address. <coughs> uh, please be specific with your address. Now I'm going to write uh, Timpu district uh, uh, and then I'm going to write uh, city center and then I'm going to write LAM because that's the street, right? That's how you say it in, in Bhutan and the number. Uh, <coughs> it is important to be specific because as part as the, of the program we will uh, arrange <coughs> or try to arrange uh, transportation back and forth to the center. So if we know where uh, the students live it's going to be easier for us to plan for the <coughs> transportation and um, this will be uh, uh, easier for you to reach the school. And then here, of course, if it's Timpu, then put Timpu. Uh, otherwise, put another city. Now, contact info information <coughs> are filled. And uh, what is uh, left is educational details. This is very important as well. You click Add, and then you have a, <coughs> a window where you can uh, specify your <coughs> educational background. Uh, let me clarify, here uh, the options are based on uh, an international scale, so it might not be exactly the same degree that you have here in, uh, <coughs> in, <coughs> in, Bhut <coughs> in Bhutan. <coughs> uh, <coughs> but, um, for example, for those of you who have uh, uh, high school, you select uh, HSC or equivalent. For those of you who have a uh, bachelor, university bachelor, then select a BSc Engineering and for those of you who have a Masters, select a Masters <coughs> sorry, I select Master then an institution name, then that would be the name of the school let's say you have studied at uh, Royal uh, uh, University of uh, Bhutan and then you write that and then uh, you said your um, field of study if it's uh, computer science or something else, let's say computer science. Then passing year, that's the year where you completed your uh, your degree. Select, uh, for example, uh, 2012, that what I am selecting, but you select the year in which you completed this specific education. Um, this is the grade, the final grade. Uh, I got the I got ten, but you might have gotten another degree, another um, grade. So put that, and then a status if it's completed or if it's ongoing, um, and then let's say completed and add. You can add as many as you want. So the idea here is that uh, we want to know uh, what where did you study in high school, where did you study in for your bachelor degree, and uh, where did you study for master degree. Um, it, we don't require a specific degree to be selected for the program but we require you to um, tell us which was the last degree that you took and all the, the previous degrees as well because this will influence your um, ability to work with the clients and we need to know it before so that we will be able to help you during the course. Now you have fill in all your personal information, contact information and educational details and uh, you're able to uh, take the tests as well as uh, link your uh, um, uh, accounts and increase therefore your trust score. But before you do that then I want you to upload a profile picture. So we go here and uh, click and you can select a picture. Now I'm gonna leave it uh, like this but you put a picture yourself the one you, uh, you like and then don't worry because in the future we will help you to um, take professional pictures and you would have a nice picture here taken by a professional photographer uh, from us so for now that's how you fill in your profile and in the next video I will show you how to take the test
And tests are important because uh, it's based on this test that we select the students that can participate in the program. And, uh, and then I will show you how to uh, connect all your different profiles and uh, increase your, your trust score. And at the same time, I will also start mentioning how the learning portals are integrated into the, uh, into the, the system. But for now, that's all. Please go back and uh, fill in all your information. And thanks a lot for, uh, for the time. Bye-bye, guys.